Hey guys, so today here we have the Poco M5. Now, I'm a bit confused because they just launched the Poco M4 5G. It's not like it's a year old or six months. It's about two to three weeks from this one about. And it's going to get so many people confused. Now, the Poco M4 has 5G. This one is running a MediaTek Helios G99 which has Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 5.2, which other one had 18 watt charging, up to 1080p uh, display, which other one can I believe can go to, two, to, four, uh, to 1440p. Um, and then it has a max refresh of 120 for like this processor, and it only does 4G. So for some reason, I feel like they're giving us the Poco M5 instead of the M4 for 5G, but they're downgrading it. And if people are gonna buy it confused. So if you see the M5, don't think of it as an upgrade. Think of it as a, as a downgrade, in my opinion, just because. But you have here the Poco logo, um, all the usual shit, including a manual in the, or the case in the box, which screw the case, especially for this type of a phone. Um, your unit will have a pre-installed screen protector, and then it comes with an 18 watt wire and brick in the box with 22 and a half watt max, so it'll charge perfectly at the max. And it even feels, the unboxing feels cheaper because of this. Fake leather, like really plastically feel leather, and I am not a fan of this, this back. And then it has this huge bump again, 50 megapixel camera, and then two other cameras there, and five megapixel front with another in-screen, proximity sensor, side mounted fingerprint, volume up and down, then you have your dual SIM card tray with an SD card slot, which is nice, here you go, dual SIM, SD, all 4G, you have the headphone jack, IR blaster, single firing speaker, uh, 18 watt USB 2, uh, speaker, microphone, and not much else. Now, the reason why I'm not a fan of this is because this is the same screen as the C40, at least the and the M4 Pro 5G or the M4 5G. So you're not getting an upgrade. You're not getting a downgrade. You're getting the same screen as your M4. It has a 90 hertz display again, like the M4, but it can go up to 120 this processor. So I don't know why they did this. Now, what really confuses me is why are they giving us this phone? Like, it sounds like at this point they want to throw out a billion phones at us. Like. Okay, so throw a billion phones at us, but I don't want to have too many phones in my too many phones to um to look at here. Like I'm not complaining. Oh, I have to look at a phone. No, it's I don't want to have to to deal with this phone, this phone, and then getting question. Oh, is this phone good because it's because it's a M5 and not the M4, or is this phone good because it's an F4 and not the F3? and some stuff like that like that was a year in between it so i'm fine with that but there are some where you say oh is this a good phone and then you're like it came out within one month of the other one is it good no does it have better specs no is it worse seems like it so far especially i'm not saying the g99 helios is bad but if you can get the mediatek dimensity 700 which is meant to be higher end than the, than the helios with 5g for around the same price, then I would go for this. Now, I just want us to use this, set it up and use it, but again, I still am not the fan of this fake leather. It doesn't feel like leather. You can tell it feels like plastic. And then, that's plastic and just glass around the, the camera lens itself, but the rest of that part is plastic. Now again, I am, Oh, I am not a fan of this, like, this feel of the phone. Like, it has a very big uh, bezel around it. Everything about that's big. And it's just, do we really have to have a third, a, a second phone, a third phone with this big bezel and around the same price range, give or take 100 to 200 price range? Do we have to? No. We could skip this phone and wait, we don't, you just released a phone around the same price range as this, please. I know I'm ranting a lot, but like, 
The vibration motor feels like crap. I'm not a, like I'm not a fan of that vibration motor feel. Feels just as cheap as the last one. And just because you threw in a 50 megapixel camera, I don't care. Look, I'm not trying to to rant or anything about this and how everything is. It's just if you're gonna give us a phone, please give us one that ha that has a better processor than the last version and not just the worst one by a bit and telling us oh this oh that please now i've gone on for about six and a half minutes of ranting but here you've seen the unboxing it's one of the simplest unboxings that comes with the phone case a 22 watt charger with an 18 watt max usable on the phone 5000 mAh battery now i'm dealing with that and it takes like two hours to charge. It feels so slow. It is not worth the the, the pain. Okay, this running Poco 4 launcher, because it looks like it. I'll go into your settings. And according to this, it's running 13.0.2 stable at Android 12. My specs are 6 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage. And I, I hate this. I just finished setting up my device. We're running the release 4, Poco Launcher 4, which is nice. So you actually get the update on this phone. But still, I am i don't see the need for another phone like this when we already have a bunch of phones. Like... You can see the, you can see the lag. Look, that took a... I can see lag in this. And that's just, you see even the settings app just crashed. Display. Refresh rate. 90. I'm going to test the fingerprint reader real fast. Okay, so that's actually good. And the color scheme seems okay, but look at that. That loaded just as I went like this. Like, bro, that shouldn't load every single time you open up an app. So when I search for NCS to go home. Good, that didn't load there. Let's test this out. Single firing speaker again, with rotation lock on for some reason. Again, why? Why? Please. As my first impressions of this device, I am not the biggest fan right now. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan with my first impressions. Look at this lag and this, all this uh, camera stuff. And then when I go out of there, you lose, literally pressed on that exact spot. And then when I go out, How? 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 I place it on the table. Press where I want to shoot it. Am I losing clarity again? Fifty megapixels and I can't even keep a correct shot on this damn phone holder that I 3D printed. I'm sorry, I'm not happy like you can hear my frustration in this device now I like Poco Poco M4 F4 I like it I love it great phone it's, I'm it's my first impressions and unboxing of this phone if you did like this video please rate, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up and as always enjoy the rest of your day